Hello everybody, this is Kelly and I am doing my much promised and talked about tour of uh, my sewing studios, which really is my office and our master bedroom. We make do, right? So uh, I'll just give you a quick little tour. First, I'm sure many of you have done this now. This is a um, basically a shoe holder that you put over the back of the door and this holds um, a bunch of my hardware. My much used. I probably should label it, but I know where the stuff is, surprisingly enough. And then in here we have the actual my storage supply closet. And uh, oh, there's that beautiful bag that Marla's made for me a couple of years. I treasure it, just like her friendship. And the bag that somebody in CBM is going to win in the month of June. More on that. What else do we have here? Let's see. Up here we have pretty organized um, area for hardware. You can never have enough hardware. And more hardware. Looks like it's messy, but I actually know what's in there. So that's good. And then up here we have all kinds of different interfacings, stabilizers, zippers, woven fuse. Yeah, I stocked up. Uh, foam, fleece, we got our soft and stable. I like that stuff now. All of my embroidery files, well, half of them, the other half are another room. And our Decoville Heavy and Decoville Light, Bozel, all kinds of interfacings and stabilizers. And let's see, what do we got here? We have, oh, there's my beautiful Bonnie bucket bag and my fancy clothes that I'll probably never wear, but we have them. We have uh, quite a selection of my punk embroidery vinyl. I think I have a problem. It's a good problem though, right? And a bunch of other storage for fat quarters. Oh wait, what's that? Looks like more vinyl. Yeah. I should probably use it, but I keep buying more because it's so darn pretty. I know, it's horrible. So, And, oh, back here we have the silhouette. She's hiding because she doesn't get any love and I don't even know how to use it. One day I will. So that is the storage closet. Oh, inside these filing cabinets are uh, all my patterns. There's so many. I'll show you, but here's just a peek. And it's not organized, so don't, no judgment. So many patterns, patterns galore. And below that is, sorry, all my templates and more fabric. I won't bore you with that. Let's see. Over here, let's see. Speaking of fabric, my recently organized fabric stash. Very happy with that. You can tell I don't have too much. I have room for more, which is the important part. And over here we have, you can't see, but I have a beautiful view of the Camelback Mountain from my office window there. And we have my computer. Looks like I'm going to be making the beach comer pouch up next. Hope to do that this weekend. And then come over here. And this is my uh, embroidery machine. This is the Fa Creative Sensation Pro 2. Her name is Grace. She's a beautiful machine. I've used it three times. I've got to use this machine. And then back here, and I don't really keep this here, but just so show and tell. This is uh, Jessie, the serger. I wish I was Jessie's girl. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so that is, um, that's pretty much my office. I'm not going to show you the shower and the bathroom where more stuff is stored, but that's the, uh, that's my office. That's where I do a lot of my, a lot of my stuff. My cutting table, which is also my desk. But. So let's, um, come on, come on this way with me. Don't be shy. Come on. Here we go. So now we're coming to my master bedroom, which is where I keep my big sewing machines. Bless my husband's heart. So first we have, this is Jacqueline. And Jacqueline is the Juki 8700. There's my favorite little sticker from Lauren. Not today, Bobbin. She listens once in a while. So this is a um, straight stitch, single needle machine. I probably use this machine, I'm gonna say, 75% of the time for most of my sewing. So she's just a workhorse. I simply adore her. I have the uh, reliable server 
servo motor on her. So she also gets the synchronizer. If you don't have a synchronizer, I highly recommend it. And my favorite kitties from Tracy. Hi, kitties. And also pin cushion from Tracy. She's a good friend. And we come over here. Nice, beautiful, sunny, hot day in Arizona today. And this is the uh, Juki 1541. This is a compound walking foot machine. This is the machine that can pretty much, if it can fit under the presser foot, you can sew it. So it's just, a, it's a wonderful machine. I use it for pretty much all my top stitching, all the straps, um, anything that is thick. And I don't want to worry about having skip stitches or anything. So she is my workhorse. Also has the reliable motor and also has a needle position. So again, just you really need one, in my opinion. Here's my very sophisticated iron station. And this is my Goldilocks. You can't see because it's so bright. That's the um, Oliso iron. I love her. So, come on around. I'll skip showing you my bed because it's not that exciting. And last but not least, we'll come on in here to my master bedroom closet. And this is where we store all the rivets. Oh look, more hardware. And all my heavy duty thread, as well as my collection of Selric, mostly Selric thread. So that, oh well, I'll show you one more thing that's not very exciting, but you all wonder where the other machines are. Well, they're all here in the closet. So we have uh, two. Juki 2010Qs and the Janome HD9, all here keeping each other company. And then another box of vinyl, but you can't see that. So I think that is it. I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you have any questions, let me know. But um, it's not too, not too exciting. Oh wait, I didn't, shoot. but wait, but wait, there's more. One last thing. You guessed it more vinyl. So that's the tour. Hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day.